Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Uh, Let us solve this one another problem uh, from the chapter 5 distributed forces. Again uh, we are given this beam right and it is said that determine the force and moment reactions at support A of the cantilever beam subject to the load distribution shown. Right, so, we have this load distribution and here we are given this uh, x and y axis is here uh, we have that origin right. So, this distributed force uh, uh, the intensity is a function of x right and this intensity varies along the x axis is right and the distributed load is from x equals to 0 to x equals to b right. So, we have to find the uh, reaction forces and the moment at this particular support right. So, now what we will do is that uh, we will find we will replace this distributed load by its corresponding uh, concentrated load right. So, since uh, this uh, distributed load intensity is a function of x. So, we have to select a differential force or differential area right and that differential area will be associated with that uh, differential distributed load right. So, first let me define uh, my distributed uh, force uh, which is associated with this small area right. We have this small area. Uh, so, now uh, let us say that this, uh, this area represent that small force that small resultant force dr right. So, I will write that dr will be equal to this is that area right. So, this height is that omega which is a function of x right like this. So, this is that omega which varies along the x axis is right. So, I will write that this is omega and this differential resultant force is acting on this length which is dx right. So, this area will be omega into dx right. So, this is the dr. So, to find the total resultant of this distributed load what we need to do is that we need to integrate this equation right. So, now uh, I can write that this dr equal to omega dx and we have to integrate this right and we have to integrate this from 0 to b right since this distributed load is from z from x equals to 0 to x equals to b right. So, I will write that this is from 0 to b and this integration will cancel out this d and we will be left with the resultant right. So, this resultant is equal to 0 to b and this omega is a function of x right. So, we can write that this is k uh, square root x and we can find this k right. So, we can write that this uh, from that equation we can write that k is equal to omega divided by square root x and as we can see that when x is equal to b we can write that when x equals to b that omega intensity is equal to omega naught right. So, this is omega naught if we put these conditions in this equation. So, that will give us k right. So, k will be equal to omega is equal to omega naught and this is b square root right square root b. So, this is that k. So, now we can write that this omega is omega naught divided by square root b this is k and we have this x to the power 1 divided by 2 this is square root x right. So, now I can write that this is omega naught b and square root b is b to the power 1 divided by 2 let me write it like this right and this is x to the power 1 divided by 2 dx. So, now we can integrate this. So, this is r and we can write this outside of the integration. So, this is omega naught divided by b to the power 1 divided by 2 and this x 1 uh, 1 divided by 2 we if we integrate this. So, this is uh, 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So, this is 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 or we can write that it is 2 divided by 3 x to the power uh, 3 1 divided by 2 and this is from 0 to b. So, now if I put these uh, boundary conditions. So, this is omega naught b to the power 1 divided by 2 and this is 2 divided by 3 and this is b 3 divided by 2 and if we bring this b to the numerator. So, this sign will become negative. So, this is r 
2 divided by 3 omega naught and 3 divided by 2 uh, minus 1 divided by 2 is 2 divided by 2 which is b to the power 1 right. So, this is that concentrated resultant which is uh, which this distributed load will replace right. So, this is that r. Now, we have to find uh, the moment of this force about that point A right. So, since this force is acting uh, until the mid length of this beam until this point B right. So, we cannot uh, use this value directly if I draw the free body diagram right. Let me draw the free body diagram if this is our free body diagram and this is that beam right. So, then we cannot say that we, we will replace this R and we will find uh, the centroid of this uh, area and then what we normally do is that we say that uh, this resultant will pass through the centroid of this given area and then uh, we used to determine the moment uh, of this resultant force about a particular point. But in this case since this uh, distributed load is from x equals to 0 to x equals to b, so we cannot use that method right. So, what we will do is that we will find the moment by the integration method right. So, now if I if, if you want to find the moment of this uh, differential force this dr about that point a. So, what is this moment what is this moment arm right. So, this moment arm will be since this uh, uh, dr is located at a distance of x this is x right. If this is x, so this means that this is this length is 2 b minus x this whole length is 2 b and this is x. So, this is 2 b minus x. So, the moment arm of uh, this dr is 2 b minus x right. So, now if you want to find the moment uh, moment. So, we, we can write that this will be equal to dr into its moment arm right and moment arm is 2 b minus x right. And since this it is a dr, so we have to we have to find the moments of all the differential uh, forces from from x equals to 0 to x equals to b right. So, we have to integrate this from 0 to b right. So, then since dr is equal to omega dx, so we can write that this is omega dx and this is 2 b minus x or we can write dx here right. So, this is then we have to integrate this and then that omega is a function of x. So, we can replace this omega by this function right. So, this is omega naught divided by b to the power 1 divided by 2 x to the power 1 divided by 2 2 b minus x dx and we can write this outside of the integration right. So, we can write it like this. So, this is from 0 to b. So, again we can integrate this. So, this is omega b to the power 1 divided by 2 and if I multiply this. So, this will be we can write it as 0 to b 2 b x to the power 1 divided by 2 minus x and 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 and this is dx. So, now we can integrate this. So, this is omega naught divided by b to the power 1 divided by 2 and this when we integrate this. So, this is 2 b x to the power 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So, this is 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 or uh, we can write it as uh, 2 divided by 3. So, this is 2 multiplied by 2. So, this will become 4 divided by 3. Similarly, this is minus x 3 divided by 2 plus 1 is uh, 5 divided by 2 divided by 5 divided by 2 or we can write that this is 2 divided by 5 and this is from 0 to b right. So, now we can put these limits. So, this is omega naught b to the power 1 divided by 2 this is 4 b and this is uh, b to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 minus 2 b to the power 5 divided by 2 divided by 5. So, this is again b to the power 1. So, 3 divided by 2 plus 1 will be 5 divided by 2 
So, this this means that this if we multiply both of these, so this will become 5 divided by 2. So, let me write it as 5 divided by 2 and we can take this b 5 divided by 2 common right. So, we can write it as omega naught omega naught b to the power 1 divided by 2 b 5 divided by 2. So, this will be 4 divided by 3 minus 2 divided by 5 right and we can write it as omega naught this is b 5 divided by 2 and this b if we write it in the numerator. So, this will become minus 1 divided by 2 and we can take the 15 as an LCM this is 20 minus 6. So, this is 14 divided by 15 omega naught and this is uh, 5 by 2 minus 1 divided by 2. So, this will be 4 divided by 2. So, this will become b square right. So, this is the moment produced by their distributed load about that point A. So, let me draw the free body diagram. So, let us say this is that beam and this is at this point A. So, at this point A we will have uh, A x reaction and here we will have that A y reaction. And Similarly, uh, we will have this R force which will be which will the line of action of this R will pass through the centroid of this area, but there is no need to find the centroid right. Since we have determined the moment of this uh, R about that point A. So, let us say that somewhere here is this R force acting let us say somewhere here right it will be acting somewhere here. So, and this is that r which is equal to 2 divided by 3 omega naught b right. And here uh, at this point a uh, this structure will support the moment right. So, let us say that that moment is acting in the clockwise direction and let us say this is that m a right. And this r force is producing a moment and let us say that we represent that moment by a couple right. So, let us say that that moment is some acting somewhere here and its value is that m value which is equal to 14 divided by 15 omega naught b square we have just determined it right. So, now if I apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0. So, as we can see that uh, this is that moment right. So, we this this is the moment produced by this r right. So, we do not need to find include this r in our moment equation right since we know it is uh, corresponding moment right. So, if we apply the summation of moment about point a. So, this m a is acting in the clockwise direction. So, I will write minus m a and this is acting in the counter clockwise direction. So, we have to write plus 14 divided by 15 omega naught b square and this is equal to 0 right or we can say that this m a is equal to 14 divided by 15 omega naught b square and this is obvious that this structure will support exactly the same moment that uh, this distributed load is producing about that point a right. Similarly, we can find this a x if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So, as we can see that only this x is acting in the positive in the negative x direction if this is our positive x and y direction which is defined here right. So, then uh, we can say that minus a x is equal to 0 since there is no other force along the x axis is right. So, we can say that a x is equal to 0 and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that a y is acting in the positive y direction and r is acting in the negative y direction. So, I will write minus r and r is equal to this thing right. So, we can write that a y is equal to r and r is equal to 2 divided by 3 omega naught b right. So, the total uh, resultant reaction at point A is equal to A x square plus A y square and the square root and since A x is equal to 0. So, this means that our A magnitude will be equal to A y and A y is equal to 2 divided by 3 omega naught b right. So, this is that our A reaction at that point A the support A and this is the moment at the support right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem I hope you people would have understood in this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed my channel yet and like this video if, if it 
if this helps in your learning.